Have you ever wondered what it takes to be a member of an elite special forces unit? These soldiers are the best of the best, trained to take on the toughest missions and survive against all odds. And when they're on the battlefield, their enemies know to fear them. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the top special forces units that strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. Number 5. Israel's Mossad The Mossad, Israel's national intelligence agency, is a force to be reckoned with. Established in December 1949 as the Institute for Coordination, this elite organization answers only to the Prime Minister, operating in secrecy to protect Israel's interests around the world. With an annual budget estimated at a whopping 10 billion shekels, 2.73 billion US dollars, and a staff of around 7,000 highly skilled operatives, the Mossad is renowned for its ability to operate covertly and gather intelligence from a variety of sources. These operatives are some of the best in the business, using their creativity and ingenuity to develop new techniques for collecting information, often relying on unconventional means to achieve their goals. But getting into the Mossad is no easy feat the agency's rigorous and demanding selection process requires candidates to undergo physical, mental, and psychological tests, as well as intensive courses on languages, cultures, history, politics, espionage techniques, weapons, martial arts, and more. Only a few are accepted into the agency after a long period of screening and evaluation. Once selected, Mossad operatives undergo an intensive training program that includes weapons training, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and specialized courses in intelligence collection, surveillance, and counterterrorism. The Mossad has been involved in numerous special operations and activities in the service of the State of Israel. One of its most famous operations was the pursuit of Nazi criminals, culminating in the capture of the notorious Adolf Eichmann in 1960 and his subsequent trial in Israel. The agency also maintains numerous Israeli secret agents in Arab and other nations, such as Eli Cohen, who infiltrated the highest ranks of the Syrian government before being executed in 1965. In 2007, the Mossad was reportedly involved in a covert operation to destroy a suspected nuclear facility in Syria, known as Operation Orchard. Its highly skilled operatives, rigorous selection process, and unconventional methods make it one of the most effective intelligence agencies in the world. Number 4. French Foreign Legion A branch of the French army made up of foreign nationals who are willing to serve their adopted country with unmatched toughness and resilience. Since its establishment in 1831, the Legion has been involved in numerous conflicts and operations worldwide earning a reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Their training regimen is legendary, focusing on physical endurance, combat skills, and mental fortitude, making them capable of operating in even the harshest environments. One of the Legion's strengths is their unparalleled mobility. They are trained to operate in a variety of terrain, including deserts, mountains, and jungles, and are often deployed to remote areas where traditional military units cannot easily reach. This allows them to respond quickly to crises and engage in rapid strike operations, giving them a significant advantage over their adversaries. But don't think that joining the French Foreign Legion is an easy task. The selection process is incredibly rigorous, requiring candidates to undergo physical, mental, and psychological tests, as well as intensive courses on languages, cultures, history, politics, military techniques, weapons, survival skills, and more. Only a select few make it through the screening and evaluation process to join the ranks of this elite force. Throughout its history, the Legion has played a vital role in numerous missions and conflicts, including World War I and II, the French conquest of Algeria, and the Legion was deployed to the Persian Gulf as part of the international coalition against Iraq during the Gulf War, playing a critical role in the ground campaign by capturing key objectives and securing the flank of coalition forces. The French Foreign Legion accepts recruits from all over the world, regardless of their citizenship, race, or creed, with only a few requirements to meet, including being a man between 17.5 and 39.5 years old, having a valid ID and birth certificate, being physically fit and mentally healthy, being able to read and write in their native language, and having no serious criminal record.
the first contract is mandatory for five years, making it a significant commitment to serve in this elite force. Number 3. Russian Spetsnaz Spetsnaz units were formed in 1949 the shadows of post-World War II emerged a group of elite warriors unlike any other. The term Spetsnaz means special purpose or special operations in Russian. Trained to operate with surgical precision, these soldiers were the Spetsnaz units of the GRU, the main intelligence directorate of the armed forces. The Spetsnaz were not your average soldiers. They were handpicked from the best of the best and underwent some of the most grueling training in the world. Only those with exceptional physical and mental fortitude could make it through the selection process. And even then, the training never stopped. These warriors were always pushing themselves to the limits, honing their skills to perfection. What made the Spetsnaz truly unique was their ability to operate in small, highly skilled teams. Their expertise in close quarters combat and urban warfare made them an unstoppable force on the battlefield. They used surprise, deception, and lightning-fast speed to outmaneuver their opponents and achieve their objectives with pinpoint accuracy. Throughout history, the Spetsnaz have been called upon to carry out some of the most dangerous missions in the world. During the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, they conducted reconnaissance and sabotage operations behind enemy lines. In the Chechen Wars, they were at the forefront of a range of missions, including raids, reconnaissance, and counter-terrorism operations. And in the current conflict in Ukraine, Russian Spetsnaz units have played a pivotal role in the annexation of Crimea and ongoing fighting in the Donbass region. Their ability to adapt to any situation and their unwavering determination make them a force to be reckoned with. The Spetsnaz are not just soldiers, they are elite warriors who operate on a level all their own. Their dedication, skill, and courage have made them one of the most formidable fighting forces in the world. Number 2. U.S. Navy SEALs The United States Navy SEA, Air and Land SEAL teams are more than just a group of soldiers, they're an elite force of warriors who are trained to handle the toughest and most dangerous missions in the world. Established by President John F. Kennedy in 1962, the Navy SEALs are widely recognized as the best of the best, with an extensive skill set and experience that is unparalleled. Their expertise is so respected that even the CIA turns to them for help. But becoming a Navy SEAL is not for the faint of heart. Before a candidate can even think about training, they must pass a series of grueling physical and medical screenings. The standards are high, candidates must be able to swim 500 yards in just 12 and a half minutes, perform 50 sit-ups in 2 minutes, and run a mile and a half in just 10 and a half minutes. The SEAL training regime is one of the toughest in the world, with an attrition rate of around 80%. Formal training can take up to 12 months and involves intense physical and mental exercises that push candidates to their limits. One of the SEAL's most famous tactics is their use of Hell Week, a grueling five-day training program that tests the limits of their endurance, both physically and mentally. Only the strongest and most dedicated soldiers are able to complete this training and become SEALs. Since their inception, the Navy SEALs have been on the front lines of various conflicts across the globe. They played a pivotal role in Operation Neptune Spear in 2011, when they raided the compound of Osama bin Laden and killed him. In 2005, a team of SEALs was sent on a mission in Afghanistan to capture or kill a Taliban leader but was ambushed by the enemy this operation became known as Operation Red Wings. The Navy SEALs are the epitome of what it means to be a soldier fearless, dedicated, and skilled. They are truly a force to be reckoned with, and their contributions to the nation's security cannot be overstated. Number 1. British SAS when it comes to elite military units, few can match the pedigree and reputation of the British SAS. Founded in 1941 during World War II, the Special Air Service has since become a core component of the British Army, with its members tasked with carrying out some of the most dangerous and sensitive operations on the planet. But just what does it take to become a member of this exclusive group? Well, let's just say that the SAS selection process is not for the faint of heart. With a failure rate of over 90%, the training is widely regarded as one of the toughest in the world. 
To even be considered for the SAS, recruits must pass a grueling physical test that includes 50 sit-ups in 2 minutes, 60 press-ups in 2 minutes, running 1.5 miles in 10 minutes and 30 seconds, and completing an 8-mile march in 2 hours while carrying 25 pounds of equipment. And that's just the beginning. Once accepted, recruits undergo weeks of intense training in survival skills, escape and evasion techniques, and resistance to interrogation. They are also extensively trained in paramedics and trauma care, and are even taught how to deliver babies, all in the name of hearts and minds operations. But it's not just their skills and training that make the SAS so fearsome. It's also their mindset. As one former member put it, there are very few things a trooper can't do in the field. And that includes the SAS signature double tap technique, where two shots are fired in quick succession, with the second aimed at the enemy's head, to ensure they are taken out of commission. This deadly tactic has been put to the test in some of the most intense combat situations imaginable. For example, in 1980, the SAS stormed the Iranian embassy in London to rescue hostages held by terrorists during Operation Nimrod. And more recently, in 2000, they were called upon to rescue 11 hostages being held by Sierra Leone rebels called the West Side Boys. With the help of missiles and machine guns, the SAS quickly cleared the rebel buildings and brought all the hostages to safety. The British government rarely comments on their operations, and much of what is known about the unit comes from rumors and speculation. But one thing is clear, when the SAS is on the scene, no enemy is safe. Thanks for watching our countdown of the top special forces units that strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. Which unit impressed you the most? Did we miss any notable mentions? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating content like this.